We're going to have some smart, fun times on this show as well. Joining me, as mentioned, John Breach, Ryan Wilson, Sean Wagner, McGuff. Hope everybody is doing well. It is the worst day on the calendar by far. April Fool's Day. It's a trash day. I don't know if it's considered a holiday, but it's a trash day. Nobody likes these little gags, except the one I pulled on my son where I sent him, um, you can create like a fake link. And I said that the uh, governor of North Carolina had banned iPads and YouTube for the rest of the month. And uh, then you click on the link. He's like freaking out and losing it. You click on the link and it says April Fool's. And he's like, <laughs> it's, just, it's well played. You horrible, horrible, horrible father. Could be worse jobs. You could be trying to follow in Tom Brady's footsteps. That would be a worse job, wouldn't it? Imagine being Jared Stidham, Sean Wagner McGuff, and having to follow in Tom Brady's footsteps. By all accounts, Jared Stidham has the lead on the Patriots job. Do you buy or sell the idea that the Patriots, Bill Belichick, the New England Patriots, six-time Super Bowl champions in the last 20 years, are going to go into the 2020 season with Jared Stidham as their quarterback? So I buy it if the conversation is Stidham versus Hoyer. Look, we already know what Brian Hoyer is. Everyone in the NFL knows what he is. He is a career backup quarterback for a reason. He's not very good. So if it's just those two on the roster, and right now after Cody Kessler got released earlier today, it is just those two, then absolutely I buy it's going to be Stidham. They should see what they have in him uh, before next year's draft. And if he's terrible, then you can go maybe get a guy like Trevor Lawrence even. Uh, that seems a little bit far-fetched because I don't think a Patriots team would be that bad even with bad quarterback play. But the fact of the matter is that we don't know what Jared Stidham is. Now, this is what I'll say is that if the Patriots are willing to roll into the season with Stidham as their quarterback, they must like something that we don't know about him, something that they've seen behind closed doors. Because all that we've seen of him um, throughout his career is him trying to come in for Tom Brady in a blowout and promptly throwing a pick six to Jamal Adams. So practice doesn't really matter if you're not going to put up on the field. Uh, but so th that's what I would say. And also this probably puts the Patriots in the market for a quarterback in the draft. I still wouldn't be surprised if that's the direction they go at the end of the first round. Like Sean, I'm going to buy with the caveat that uh, if the game's being played today, yeah, they're going with Jared Stidham. One thing to point out that Sean mentioned, that Jared Stidham threw that pick six to Jamal Adams. Sean forgot to mention, they jerked him right back out of the game, put Tom Brady back in there in the fourth quarter to give you some indication on how much confidence they had in him in a blowout. I don't know what that did for Jared Stidham's confidence. Uh, by the way, Sean also mentioned that Cody Kessler got cut today. Do you think Cody Kessler's like, it's April 1st? You're joking, right? You have Jared Stidham and Brian Hoyer. You're not really going to cut me, are you? Bill Belichick, I don't do April 1st. Get out. <laughs> That's my robot, Belichick. <laughs> but look, uh, maybe they do like Stidham, to Sean's point. I liked Stidham last year uh, at Auburn when he was coming out. I thought he, he was in a situation that wasn't very conducive to being successful. The offensive line wasn't very good, and his wide receivers at Auburn dropped a lot of passes. I think he has a chance to be good. I don't know if it's going to happen in 2020, but I also think, as Sean mentioned, they're going to be in the market for a quarterback, whether it's in the draft or whether uh, John Breach's guy, Andy Dalton, gets cut and ends up in Foxborough at some point. Well, well, first, let me go back to Brinson's April Fool's joke real quick. Brinson, you have been banned from sending fake links to anyone, let alone your son. Wilson knows this. Sean knows this. So you can't send fake links no more. That's done. I don't want to hear about it. Uh, and I'm never going to tell people what you sent. Anyway, back to the conversation <laughs> at hand. There is no way the Patriots are going to go into the season with Jarrett Stidham at quarterback and a guy who went 1-11 and in his past 12 starts. That doesn't make any sense. Now, the flip side of that is that we don't know. The big mystery here is that we don't know how Bell Belichick feels about Jared Stidham. For all we know, Josh McDaniels and Belichick think that Stidham's going to be the next Tom Brady. And if that's the case, then it kind of makes sense to why they've avoided trading for Andy Dalton or signing Cam Newton or signing Jameis Winston. Uh, but look, we all saw Jared Stidham, as Sean mentioned, he got not a lot of action last year. He came in, he threw four passes against the Jets. One of them was a pick six. There's no way this guy is the next Tom Brady. So I do think the Patriots are absolutely going to add a third quarterback. I think they're going to wait, see what happens in the draft. If someone falls in their lap, whether that's Jordan Love or Justin Herbert, maybe uh, if they end up with one of those guys, they'll be happy. If not, then they'll wait till May and they'll sign uh, Cam Newton or Jameis Winston or try and trade for Andy Dalton. So I think they'll go draft first. And if that doesn't work out, then uh, sign a guy in free agency. It's a bold call that Jared Stidham will not be the next quarterback to win six Super Bowls and become the greatest uh, 
football player of all time, Breach. I like that you're going out on a limb. Are you getting more tan by the day? By the way, what is happening? You you like look tanner and tanner with each passing day of this show, and I'm confused by it because I get <laughs> paler and paler with each passing day of this show. Uh, I like I'm I'm buying Stidham. I think, and I'm not because I think he's some great prospect, but he was considered a guy who could potentially be a first or second round pick before the 2019 college football, or excuse me, before the 2018 college football season. Struggled, of course. Uh, Auburn wasn't as good. Well, they were they were pretty good, but they didn't have you know he didn't have that great year. Really fell down the ranks along with my boy Ryan Finley. But I, I just think that there's something in Bill Belichick's mind, and maybe it's hubris, maybe it's football savantry, whatever it is. He knows that if he goes and wins a Super Bowl in Tampa with Tom Brady watching from the Glazers owners box with Jared friggin Stidham, then the uh, is it Bre- is it Belichick or Brady ca- chicken or the egg discussion? It's over. I mean, that's bad. I mean, that, is, that is a full slam dunk. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.